What's going on, y'all? This video today is going to be a little bit different. For those of you that are traveling or gigging musicians, you may have run into the same problem that I have been dealing with. Well, this is largely because of my own stupidity uh, of not getting a gig bag and just, well, either stupidness or being just cheap. And I'll, I'll vote for the latter because uh, I think that what I was trying to do was save, save a couple bucks. But in the end, it just took some more time for me that I didn't really intend on investing in, as in fixing keyboards. So if you own a Hammer Audio, M Audio Hammer 88 keyboard, I'm going to show you quickly how to disassemble it and how to possibly fix your broken keys because that's what happens when you don't have a case. Had this uh, thrown in my car and, you know, different, you know, going on uh, different venues. And sometimes it's you know, it's pretty tough. It's metal. Uh, it's, it's weighty. It's about 35, 40 pounds. The keys gets banged up going inside. And after a while, the plastic is about this thin and it's not meant to undergo that kind of impact. You know, nobody's coming on, you know, playing the keyboard with like the force of like a, you know, cannon. So I have to fix about three of the keys, but some people, this may help you. You may uh, want to take apart this keyboard. You may want to, you know, repair something in it. Uh, so, you know, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, show you that. If you're not so inclined, just don't try this at home, but if you are, this video is for you. So let's uh, get in this keyboard. So the first thing you want to do is flip this over. Now, it's going to be heavy. It's heavy because they use cheap, inexpensive wood or wood product inside of it. So um, the wood product is called an MDF, which stands for Medium Density Fiber Board. With these two screws here, these two are for this interface. Don't touch these screws. You don't want to mess with them. They have nothing to do with you taking this thing apart. You do have these three, and then you have three on the other side that are identical. I'm giving you six. And you have these are three bolts, I should say, and I'll tell you what the difference is. These screws here are wood screws. All right, and the old, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So you take out these six first. I'm not putting them back in because I started taking them out. I realized I wasn't playing the video, or rather I wasn't recording. We have these three screws out, three on the other side. So all, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's 12 of them. And uh, when I say screws, I don't mean to say that, it's just a habit. There's a difference between screws and bolts. So I'll show you now. The pointy edge here, the pointy tip, this is a wood screw. This goes into the side of your keyboard where you go directly into the wood that's in the keyboard. You can see it because the wood is a tan color. This over here is a bolt. This goes into the aluminum. These are the six at the side. Now we're gonna flip this over now. And we have these other screws we wanna, we're gonna take out. Now these are screws here. I want to keep these in order. You have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 of these wood screws here. All right, let's put that in focus. There are 14 of these here. So I put these on, these legs on, because it's something I wanted to do. I needed to have legs because of the surface that I was using. So what we can do here is this. We won't worry about these just yet. You see, we want to get into the keyboard. So these are what hold your key bed together. These one, two here, we need to take these out. These two here and these two bolts here. There are four of them. So these are these four bolts, bolts here that we took out. So then we have these here. One, two, three, four, five, six. These all here, these one, two, three, four, five, six bolts. They fasten the side cover to the unit. So this is just side cover here. Take that off, put it to the side. I'll take off this cover here. And this is, it's, it's set up a little bit differently. So you have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So this side cover comes off now. Put that to the side. Keep all these bolts together. Now, what we can do is take this now. You wanna hold this case, this keyboard case, from the side here. Hold it, hold it together with your other hand, and wait, before you do anything, move your tool out of the way. Put it down here, like this. Just like you were gonna play it. So now, we have all those screws out. You wanna take this cover out and pull it up carefully. The reason why, because you have wires and a harness that attaches to the, volume and your uh, mod wheel and pitch bend wheel. So hold this because it can slide down. I mean, the wire is pretty thick, but as you can see here, 
you don't want to put stress on it, okay? And this one over here, you don't want to put stress in that either. I did do some modifications, but if you stress that, I'll show you. If you stress this wire over here, it's attached to a, a, a board. And if you can, you can um, yank it out the board and crack the circuit board in. If you know how to engineer electronics and build printed circuit boards, then you're good. If not, well, you just ruin your keyboard. I'll put this right here to kind of wedge this up to take some of the stress off of that. You have your screws here. These, there are four screws that hold the sections and they're broken into sections. So you have this off here. You have, this is one section here. This is the only one that's like this. It only has two screws. The rest of them, except of course for the end, has one screw. But if you're trying to replace these, obviously these three, this A is B flat, A sharp is B, you take out those two. But for the rest of these, for the most part, you have four here, 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 and all the way out until you get to the last set and then the one. Those other screws that are in the back are underneath that I didn't take out the 14, they hold those in place. That's what hold those, hold this key bed from sliding back. So if you need to take the keys out, you have to take out all 14 of those screws because they go in directly into the back of this unit here, this key bed, and holding them in place. This piece of plastic here is very thin. And just for kicks and giggles, I'm gonna take it out, I'm gonna actually show you. So you actually get to see me take this, take this out. Now immediately you'll notice that these, these come up. So I'm gonna show you this, try to get a little closer. This plastic here, in fact, I'll just pull it out for you. Forward and back pull towards me and then push it forward and you get this out. Now look at this, okay? Look how thin this is. Now think about just it being banged up and twisted. This area here is very thin. Now what I had to end up doing was, let me get that in focus, I hope it's in focus. All right, what I had to end up doing was welding this B flat here. It's not the greatest job in the world, but it works because of the way the tension goes on this. All right, let me try to get that here. It's kind of ugly, but it plays just great. Welded this plastic here onto this here with another piece of plastic. It's a car, it's an auto plastic, auto uh, welding kit that I used to repair this. But they're, about, they're, same, they're the same height. I'm not getting anything pulling away from the keyboard. It's just to lever, to give it a lever. That's all this is. This, little, this plastic is what gives attention to make this keyboard, the, the uh, keys go up and down. You don't need a whole lot of spring action. That's why they use this cheap plastic because then they use cheap wood, they wanna cut back on cost and then charge you hundreds. This here is the plastic welding kit that I use. It's actually an automotive plastic welding kit uh, for a bunch of other stuff, but Junjip, you can find this on Amazon. So if you wanna mess with those, these back here are the counterweights, the plastic counterweights. I opened up the motif, the motif uses metal ones. But that's the keyboard, that's the keyboard opened up. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this back together. And you just do everything, just like I showed you, but in reverse.
So there you have it, it's all fixed. You want to make sure all the keys work, especially the black ones that are kind of disgusting with the grease they put inside of the act to clean it up, but yeah, everything seems to work. The black keys tend to be the you know notorious for uh not working. But like I said, you want to make sure that if you even give it a quick review at the side, everything is good. It's fine, I just gotta clean the keys and get the stuff off my hands. So that's it, that's your M Audio Power 88 broken down and put back together.